and welcome to this week's video. This week we're dealing with all things Conroe Township news. I'm your host, Kendra Moore, and this is my assistant, Hannah Percio. Seniors, please bring in your baby picture along with the senior picture for graduation night. Give the pictures to Miss Gall in room 136 in an envelope with your name on it. They're due by April 23rd. Grade 11 physicals will be Monday, April 9th in the nurse's office. There will be a blood drive on April 13th in the gym. Students can sign up to give blood during lunches or in room 218. You must be 17 in order to give blood or if 16 you will need a parent consent form signed. And in honor of Martin Luther King's life, in the end we will remember not the words of our enemies but the silence of our friends. My name is Matthew Delash. I'm Gavin Mishaw. Today is Friday, April 6, 2018. On this day in 1896, the first modern Olympic Games began. And this was Today in History. See you next week. Hi everyone, I'm Kendra Moore and today I'm here with the Interact Club Advisor, Mrs. Stankin, to talk about the Interact Pancake Breakfast. Mrs. Stankin, when is the breakfast? The breakfast is April 28th from 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock a.m. And where is the breakfast It located? will be held here in the Conlon Township High School cafeteria. And how much does it cost for a pancake breakfast? We are going with by donation. We want to raise money for our international project, which is to buy water filters for Thailand. So what else included in this pancake breakfast? We are going to have pancakes, a topping bar, sausage links, and also beverages, coffee and orange juice. Okay, thanks so much. Thank you. Hey everybody out there in tribe land, weekend weather here with Coach Z. Weather hasn't been very conducive for our baseball team lately, but hopefully by the time you see this we'll have a game in. We're uh, looking today, Friday, at a high of near 50, but probably a little wet today. Uh, tomorrow, Saturday, for the tribe trot, probably some snow showers around, some snow flurries, high in the low to mid 30s. Uh, Sunday, again, going to be a little cool. We're talking about mid to high 30s, okay? Hey, listen, never fear. We're tired of winter too. Some spring weather coming maybe next weekend. Take care. Nick the weatherman here. Today's weather is supposed to be sunny and a little bit raining over the weekend. But it's going to be a little bit windy, but it'll get warmer out soon. Back to the studios. Hello, my name is Toby Johnson. This is my hidden talent. Hi, and welcome to the Tribe Sports. The baseball team opened up their season Thursday with a 4-3 win over Westmont at the Gene Schultz Tournament. They advanced to the championship game and will face Bishop McCourt on Saturday at 3. The girls' softball team has a game today at 4-15. And now on to our live sports reporter, Hannah. Hi, I'm here with Varsity Pro Track Athlete Seth Teeter and Varsity Senior Track Athlete Marcus Christophus. How do you guys think your track season's going to go? Oh, we're hoping it goes well. We want to win Westpac. I think it'll go pretty well. I mean, we have some good athletes out there. Uh, yeah, we have a lot of confident people in all of our events. I think we should go undefeated this year. No problem. Okay. Um, how do you guys think you're going to do in your events individually? Oh. I mean, when don't I perform well? So I'm expecting high first places like always. Uh, pretty much the same, expecting a lot of wins this year in the 100. It's going to be pretty light work this year. Though. Finally, we are back to the fastest human. The weather has finally cooperated here on a nice, you know, one of the last days of March. Today, Sarah, we have four girls from the seventh grade class. We're going to call them the Spice Girls, even though some of you are probably too young to remember them. Um, we have Salty Spice here, <laughs> Sugar Spice here, Softball Spice here, and Blondie Spice here. So we're going we're gonna to have them race this week. Sarah, any questions you have for our competitors? 
Do you think you guys are really prepared for this race today? Yes. No. no. <laughs> no. Are any of you fast? No. I, don't I am not. I don't Medium? Know. I just Medium. Really fun. Well, we're going to find out right after this commercial. Stop! It's summertime! In the summertime, when the weather is high, you can stretch right up and touch the sky. When the weather's fine, you got wind. Okay, so Sarah's going to start us off. We're here at the start line with our question of the week to see which competitor is going to move up five feet. So, whoever can answer this question the fastest gets to move up. Who is the 16th president? Abraham Lincoln. Lincoln. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Where You're am I moving? Oh, I need one. It's high. Well, I don't know what to say. I'm a little speechless, Sarah. I know you were up at the start line, but down here at the finish line, we got a little bit of a problem because it was too close to call. Um, Sierra and Jenna Weaver here are tied until we go to the video review. Sarah, why don't you uh, ask them what they feel, who they feel won? Who do you guys think won? Not me, Sierra. <laughs> it is that close. So you will have to stay tuned until we actually have one Kieran Collin go back through the film and determine a winner for us. If not, both of them will advance to the Tournament of Champions later this spring. <laughs> we will see you next week with our results. Until then, Mr. Mainhart and Sarah Peaches. Hello, Cottonwood Township, and welcome back to the Stampede. I'm Max Barkley, back with my co-host, Seth Barrick, and we are here at the actual Stampede. Seth, what are your opinions on the racers today? Well, I think a lot of them are really strong, other good competitors, and I feel like it'll be an action-packed, interesting race to watch. Well, it all seems very exciting here. Why don't you come on down Saturday for the Stampede? It begins at 9 a.m. The fun fact of the week is women weren't allowed to compete in gymnastics events until the 1920s. Welcome back to Middle School News with Hannah and Lincoln. The fourth annual Township Stampede will be held tomorrow, April 7th at the CT track. The race begins at 9. You can register at the track. See you next week. Hi, and welcome back to the question of the week. I'm Maya. And I'm Emma, filling in for Abby. And today we're here with Eckler Manhart. And the question is, what is your favorite TV show? The Walking Dead. And now we're here with Kelsey. And the question is, what is your favorite TV show? I didn't do it. Thanks, Thanks for watching. See you next week. Hi, welcome back to Middle School Sports with Owen and Ben. The junior high track team has their first meet on Monday against Rockwood at home. Yesterday, the junior high volleyball team had a home game against Shade. Here's some highlights from, from the game. Hi, it's Hunter and Ruby, and these are the birthdays of the week. Happy birthday to Gage Lewis, Kylie Jenkinson, Jordan Miller, Izzy Allison, Jensen Corver, Abby Lewis, Robert Schaefer, Isaac Boring, Luke Formica, and Katie Troxel. Happy birthday! See you next week! Welcome back to Ask the Tribe, where you ask the questions that you really want to hear. Question one, where do you get your shirts? Asked by Hannah Percio. I get my shirts at like, the store and stuff. Thanks for noticing. Question two, when my puppy dreams about me, do I speak human or do I bark? Asked by Katie Lingenfelter. Yeah, that's kind of more of a dog question in my opinion. I mean, I'm not a dog. I, I could ask my dogs for you if you really want me to, but I don't know if I'm gonna get really that many results. When dogs dream, do, do we bark in their sleep like we're talking? <laughs> do they? Do you... No? Give me an answer here, come on. Come on baby.
Okay. Question three. Who actually won the fastest human ever this week? Asked by Haley Curry. And that's all the time we have for this week's edition of Ask the Tribe. Be sure to ask us questions at Ask the Tribe on Twitter. See you next time.